I felt like with my first home, I went in blinded. I didn't know anything about budgeting. I didn't know anything about saving or anything like that. I just woke up, just one day I just woke up and said, I'm not doing this anymore. If I can do this, why can't I do it for myself? I made a list of things I was looking for because of my children. I did not want my kids to have to share a room. I wanted my kids to have a yard to play in. I wanted my kids to have space. My first house was kind of small. So I rented a house that was fairly large. And before I knew it, I was there for four years. You always think in the back of your mind, you have to make a certain amount of money to buy a house. But that's not true. My finance advisor, her name is Terry, and she is so awesome. She taught me that. I didn't have a savings. I never ever kept a budget. I never said this bill costs this much every month. Eventually you're gonna fall flat on your face. And that's exactly what I did. When you go to these classes, they teach you budgeting. They, they teach you the safe areas, they teach you the dangerous areas, things that you might want to try to stay away from. These are the things that I learned in those classes. Now I actually save, I actually have an emergency fund. They didn't make me feel like it was their job. They made me feel like they were purchasing this home with me and they were going to make sure I stayed on track and they were going to do their part and I was going to do my part to make it happen. I would call this my dream home. I want a house that I want to retire in and I want my grandkids to come back here and stay in the same rooms that their parents stayed in. That's what I was looking for.